Well, guys, uh, I really can't say too much yet, but I know I mentioned something about uh, some big news to do with fishing. Uh, uh, so uh, I guess all I can say right now, uh, I can't really say too much yet, but you can almost consider this like uh, foreshadowing. <laughs> Just knocked it down, cutting it up, and hauling it out to the truck. You know, a little plastic sled there. Uh, you know, it's not the easiest way to do it. hound the wood like this you know you work harder doing it this way than if i would have went off on snowmobile uh you know with a common ticking box or a toboggan or the wood cat but uh but i find this way you know really gives the legs a good workout and as i take a little break i'm going to share a little story with you is uh back in 93 i think it was me and my cousin was on a formula plus skidoo and i uh, was going quite fast and hit a patch of ice and the skidoo spun around that fast uh, I guess from the centrifugal force, I got flung off the back of her and I went uh, horizontal through the air. And there was a post with a sign on it, a four before a square. And uh, that's where my left leg uh, around the femur area struck the post. Uh, I actually smashed the post off across my leg. <laughs> yeah, but I beat the muscle up there and I had a, had a lump on my left leg. They're now ever since 93, pretty close to 30 years now. So... Uh, so I like to give the legs, you know, a little workout every once in a while. And hauling this wood out with snowshoes on gives the legs a really good workout, I tell you that. <laughs> so just to share a little story with you, because you may even notice in videos, you know, like, you know, left leg a bit bigger there. So I'm going to haul this uh, one out, and then I'm going to and cut this one uh, right there. Look at that. That's a lot. Well, there's a few lovely sticks there, but I'm going to go for that one right in the middle there first. And then the other one. And then that one, and that one, and that one. <laughs> yes, sir, look at that. That's a fine stick of wood right there. And, you know, there's a lot of nice wood here, but a lot of it's still got, got a, a lot of burnt bark on it. So, you know, I'm just uh, picking out the nice cleaner ones for now. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of nice wood blowed over here, too, you know. So I'm going to get some of this here uh, the once as well. You know, kind of helps clean up the whole area a bit. <laughs> Have another break and uh, finish off my story, I guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, 
actually went too long ago now I had an x-ray on my leg and uh, after that I had an ultrasound done and there's a good chance uh, later on I'm gonna have to get surgery on the leg and I was like a pack of the fluid there I had the fluid removed before but it just comes back so I think the fluid got to be removed and uh, I don't know, stitched together on the inside or something, I guess. Uh, but we'll leave that up to the professionals. So but right now it's just a wait and see game. Uh, yeah, I had that there for close on 30 years. It's time to get something done proper with it now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just seen a fly that looked like a nipper. <laughs> Well, I must say, I got a pretty good appetite worked up there now. <laughs> uh, yeah, first order of business now, get a good meal. Uh, moose meat and a slice of bread with a juice in that, and then I'm gonna get out and uh, pack in the wood. What a difference in firewood. I tell you, there's some heat come from that stove there now. Yeah. Uh, the wife and kids, you know, they're down in McCovic. They're now for Christmas holidays, and I'm going to join them in a couple of days' time. So uh, so hope to get a little bit of hunting and fishing in down there as well. Stay tuned. Uh, but for this one, I think this is going to be it for now. I'm going to go in and have a late supper and get cleaned up and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I uh, really appreciate you all watching. Take care, and all the best from the big land.